Boom, buddy, boom, 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 boom. What's up, guys? What up, what up, what up? Drivers, passengers, uh, customers, eaters, restaurant workers, anybody want to learn, welcome back. I am Jose, uh, a.k.a. Driver Man, here to talk to you from Los Angeles, California. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you about this thing that I saw in regards to AB5. So AB5, of course, we all know began um, on January 1st of this year, so it's a month and 21 days in now, and uh, it's not, you know, what everybody dreamed of, as, as we've come to quickly learn. The idea was uh, to benefit, you know, Uber and Lyft drivers, that's kind of where the idea came from, was because of the complaints from uh, those rideshare drivers. And so Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez, or I believe she's former Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez, uh, accordingly, according to the article, it's former, uh, she wrote this bill um, to, you know, help them become employees, force Uber and Lyft and thing, uh, companies like that to uh, make the drivers employees. But it's, it hasn't worked, obviously. You know, they're not going to do it. Uh, they'll just keep fighting that in court. So, but in addition, that unfortunately has impacted a lot of other people, which what, you know, the topic of this video is. It's about the people that it impacted negatively. So it hasn't just been affecting drivers. It's also been affecting other freelance workers in uh, the uh, Sunshine State here, uh, like riders, for example, and photographers. So what happened is with AB5, it has limited riders and photographers to only 35 uh, submissions a year per media outlet. Now, if you think about that, there's 52 weeks in a year, right? So if you're doing 35 and that's your limit, that's, man, that's not even one a week. And even if you were doing one a week, you know, how, you know, how is a writer or photographer supposed to, you know, eat from that, survive, eat and pay for their rent? I mean, you kidding me? It's just not going to work. And it's even less than that. So they're just going to be trembling out of hunger. So that's been a big concern for them because, you know, unless they get hired by the company, you know, yeah, they're screwed and not every company wants to hire them. You know, it's expensive and, you know, they've hired some people, sure, but they're not going to hire everybody. Not every, you know, news outlet wants to do that. They want to just keep on, you know, having the independent contractor thing. So uh, it's been difficult for them. Truckers apparently have been the only ones that I've seen. Uh, based on what I've read, that have been exempted from this. So truckers, a judge found truckers to be exempt from uh, AB5 uh, in January, last month. Uh, so they haven't been affected by it at all, so they're okay. However, writers and photographers have been gaming towards uh, getting, you know, exempt from it as well. So they've been, you know, putting together a plan and, and trying to fight this and, and figure out a way to get this, uh, to get exempted as well. Now, Kevin Kiley, uh, Assemblyman Kevin Kiley, um, has put together a bill um, called AB 1928. Not 1917, like the movie that won several awards that I actually enjoyed very much. But 1928, you know, a time where there was no wars at all that I can, you know, think about the top of my head. Not, not any world wars, anyway. So, he's coming up with this, uh, and what this is supposed to do is basically freeze AB 5... Um, suspend it, whatever you want to call it, delay it until they can uh, come up with something better. So it's to suspend it until legislators uh, can find a way to uh, make it workable uh, through committees, you know, make it make it better, change it up and rewrite it. Um, because it's no bueno. They're, they had a rally at the state capitol, in fact, led by this Kevin Kiley character, uh, Governor Gavin, uh, Gavin Newsom was there as well. And Kiley was, you know, you know, Newsom was saying something along the lines of, hey, the reality is as long as this bill is here, uh, you're not going to get what you want. And the guy was saying, yeah, your own chief of staff, dude, uh, you know, complained about this and said that, you know, this is, you know, this bill is like one of the worst uh, uh, disasters in written legislature in like the last 20 years. And so they were there rallying, and there were also very many uh, freelance workers there at this rally as well to join protesting AB5. Uh, who was really happy about this AB5? I mean, I, I can't think of who would be happy about it off the top of my head. 
uh, the Uber and, and, and Lyft drivers were the ones who like wanted it. You know, they had all those protests, make us employees, we want the same rights, and they're not getting those. So since they're not getting it anyway, then it's not really, you know, what's the point of having this bill if they're not, you know, getting Uber and Lyft to make them employees? They're not going to. It's just not going to happen. They'll find a way to get around it or, you know, the few people who uh, do want to be employees, any rideshare drivers who really do want to be employees and be, you know, stuck in like a schedule and all that and get paid hourly, um, they're going to, you know, not all of them are going to sue anyway. Not everybody who doesn't get, you know, what they want goes ahead and has the nerve to sue. Some of them will just deal with it and just, you know, keep complaining and complaining and complaining. And then the few that do sue them, you know, they're, they've got that whole, like, you know, they signed off on arbitration clause, so then they can just, you know, Uber will just weasel the way out of it. Here's some money. Uh, okay, um, on with your life. And then they just keep doing it, you know, because, you know, making them employees, as I've said in other videos, and we all know it would just, you know, be too too expensive for them. It would increase their cost by 30%. Uh, they might just go out of business. I mean, they're still in the process of trying to turn a profit, which they said they want to do by the end of the year. Making the drivers employees, uh, they might as well just shut down business, you know. If you want to be an employee, uh, sign up to be a taxi driver because Uber, Uber drivers and Lyft drivers is just not going to happen. I'm sorry as much as some of you want it and and I make it I may get some you know a flack from this for this uh, some counter uh, arguments but honestly in my belief even though I have myself driven uh, both Lyft and Uber full-time um, at certain points uh, driving you know 40 hours 50 hours and in, in certain weeks yes I've been there I've done it to make extra money with that being said in my humble opinion, Uber and Lyft were never really meant to be uh, full-time jobs anyway. I don't believe that they were designed for that. The idea was basically just to provide uh, riders with a cheap, you know, taxi ride. You know, because taxis are expensive. The, the idea was to provide them with an option to get a ride where they wouldn't have to, you know, drive drunk. Less drunk drivers, of course, which it has done that. And provide, yeah, something affordable that they could get a ride, you know, uh, without it costing them an arm and a leg, uh, you know, when they needed it, you know, from time to time or whatever. Um, and, and it was, you know, a way for people to make a little extra money. Hey, turn your car into a cash machine, make a little extra money, not, you know, do it full time. It was really just, you know, give some rides here and there, you know, on the weekends or maybe you have to work and, uh, you know, make a little extra money. And, uh, you know, for the people who want to get, you know, a ride, uh, yeah, a cheap ride and not have to worry about driving and parking. Um, I believe that's that was the intention. I could be wrong. Maybe I am. I'm open to it. You know, anybody who has a counter thought, other arguments, please say something. Share. I'm uh, more than open to it. I'm not perfect, and I'm not. Uh, I'm not always right. Definitely not. Uh, but that's just my my belief. I, I I think that it was never really meant to be that, and. Uh, with that, you know, with that in mind, uh, it's kind of makes sense as far as the whole AB5 not, you know, working and making Uber and Lyft, uh, you know, making the drivers employees. It just, it's too much, you know, this whole demand, like, make us employees. I, I support Uber and Lyft drivers, you know, I've been an Uber and Lyft driver, uh, you know, I'm on your side. I am a former, you know, Uber and Lyft driver. I, I, I get it. I've been there. I, 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 I support you making good money. Uh, getting paid well, but not as an employee, really. Just that's my take. You weren't meant to be an employee. You're just meant to uh, make good money, you know, you know, for your time and mileage, but not like 40 hours a week. I really don't think it was meant to like replace another job. Has it? Sure. Was I using it for that? Sure. Um, do I do that basically with delivery now? Yes. Uh, but. I mean, I keep, my bill's really low, you know. I, I'm talking about, like, a guy who's, like, married with kids and stuff like that. It's not really, not really meant, meant meant for that. Now, I get a lot of people have gotten laid off, sure, and they've had no choice. They're like, oh, I got laid off, I left my job. Uh, the economy is, you know, not in my favor right now, you know. Um, I just got out of college, I graduated, and I can't find a job. I get it, okay. It's something, you know, to make money, but to expect it, to be, you know, level with uh, a typical uh, nine-to-five job and demand that they, you know, give you like benefits and all that. 
again, I kind of don't agree with it. I, I kind of don't uh, think that uh, that's what it was meant to be or that's that's what it's for. And that's that's my take. That's my take on that. Uh, however, in, in the meantime, uh, yeah, there are a lot of people who don't like it. Like, you know, as I mentioned, writers. Um, they're working on a bill, a uh, Senate bill, SB 868, I believe is what it's called. I'm pretty sure you can check the article that I'll link to below. Um, and that one is meant to, um, to combat, you know, uh, Assembly Bill 5. Uh, and that's not the only one. There's not, you know, there's the AB 1928 that I mentioned. There's this, uh, Senate Bill 868. And then there's the AB 1850, that, which was written by the woman who originally created AB 5. AB 1850 um, is basically meant to give an exemption to writers and photographers, exempt them out of, you know, the AB5 restrictions. And apparently they mentioned something along the lines of she had been planning this uh, ahead of time, even before AB5 officially went into law, she had had this idea of um, having this having this exemption for AB1850. And there are several. There's uh, They're going to be considering like uh, 30 different bills uh, and there, you know, more than one may be in action at the same time to, you know, hold off the, the restrictions of AB5 and try to rewrite it and, and make it better so that it works, uh, in a way that's beneficial for, you know, everybody, not just screwing, you know, certain people over and not really helping m many that I could think of. Uh, I don't know who has it helped. Anybody know? Feel free to comment. I don't think it's helped anybody because like I said, the drivers haven't gotten their way, haven't gotten the ones who've wanted it, haven't gotten it. And, uh, and the people who didn't want it, you know, are, uh, are getting it in a, in a bad way. You know, they're not, they're not liking it. It's, uh, it, it's hurting them. So that is my, uh, two cents on this. That is what is happening. Um, they're, you know, they're working on that. They're trying to make this, make this happen. February 27th, which is this Wednesday, um, is when it's going to, uh, come to the forefront and be addressed and see if, uh, Kevin Kiley, this assembly man can get this, um, uh, this, you know, thing overturned, this, you know, thing put into motion, uh, so that they can, uh, freeze the AB5 until they can, you know, come up with something much, uh, much more efficient and, and logical. Anyhow, um, that is what is going on as far as AB5 news, um, at the moment, uh, trying to get it overturned. So it's not just Uber and Lyft now, but it's the people that are affected. So the chances of Uber and Lyft getting their way, it's looking like good, you know, they might not have to, you know, get it overturned in the ballot in November. It's, it's, you know, likely going to happen much sooner than that, you know? So then they can keep that, uh, you know, 90 million, you know, Uber and Lyft and DoorDash, I believe it was 30 million each of them. Then they can, you know, they don't have to, you know, keep spending that. They can, you know, they can give that to the drivers. Yeah, in our dreams. Um, no, they'll probably just use it to buy, you know, buy out more competition or something like that, you know, like Uber did in the Middle East buying Kareem uh, for, what was it, like $3.1 billion. Um, and who knows, you know, Postmates might spend more money on Martha Stewart. They might just give her some more money. Um... Actually, no, they weren't one of the ones who put up the $30 million, excuse me. Uh, DoorDash might open up more ghost kitchens, you know, with that $30 million. Um, and what will Lyft do? They won't pay us more. They'll probably just throw that back into the self-driving technology. <laughs> yeah, guys. Um, I hope you have a fantastic, fruitful weekend. Um, I am clear from my sickness, finally. And rock on. Boom! Do it, baby!